you need Go Williams. That's right, it's your boy! Coming at you on a Thursday as I always love to do because Thursday is my favorite day of the week. Why? Well, I was born on a Thursday, 11.47 a.m. Woo! Man, I'm so happy to be back with y'all doing what I love to do. It was all a dream. Speaking of which, I just got back from the inauguration. Thus, thus you see, I got my monotone colors on as well. You know, I just came back from the inauguration, and man, I'm trying to tell you, we just saw another dream come true. Um, first off, we want to give a big shout out to Kamala Harris for being the first black woman, person of color, black woman, slash South, yeah, South. Asian? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. South Asian woman to become vice president of the United States. Um, it was a peaceful inauguration. It was it was very peaceful. I I I it, it was it was nice. Uh I think one of the most interesting parts about it was how they put it together given COVID and everything that's going on. You 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 the whole entire world is watching this. So it starts with the inauguration of the new president. And the fanfare that comes from an inauguration. So it, it was nice for what they were able to do. Uh, shout out to everybody who's wearing a mask. Even like the car, the guards that just stand there, just, you know, while, they, while the people walking past the guards. Everybody masked up. So that was good because that's you have to be symbolic of what you're trying to do move, as, as you try and move forward and uh, with, 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 Everything that's happened in the last four years of the United States history and a lot of the, our world history, they had to, it had to look good. And I think it looked very good. Um, I think it had a very good turnout despite all the restrictions. Now, I know there was a lot of videos trying to show, ah, oh, but y'all were talking about Trump's inauguration. Well, y'all, wasn't nobody hardly there. It was just filled up with a whole bunch of flags and where the typical inauguration would be in the, in the president just out there in front of Capitol. It's a pandemic, so we can't do stuff the same exact way. Now, maybe if he gets back in office or maybe if Kamala takes the reins after that, because I do believe in his next four years, it's going to cause for more of the same, if you will. Um, of, of After after this four years, I believe there will be more of the same of what happens in these next four years. And I believe that Kamala will go ahead and take the reins from Senator Joe Biden, a.k.a. President Joe Biden. Uh, but there's a lot to be said about the show, but let's talk about the showstoppers. The showstoppers were Kamala Harris, of course, Dr. Jill Biden, all Joe Biden's grandkids, all that stuff. The Dior Jordans, y'all seen them? I'm not a Jordan guy, but hey, that's a good move. I like that move. That was a cool move. But Michelle Obama. Whoo! Now you know she showed up. I had to go back. I had to go as best dressed as I could. You know, I ain't trying to pull from Barack Obama. You know, I, I ain't trying to do that. I'm not I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. You know, and I don't believe in that. But in an alternate world, a different universe, I'm right there. But um, uh, man, they all stole the show, man. The monotones was there. You know, I'm a fashion guy, I love fashion. Uh huge on it. It's just, you know, it's been a different year, so I ain't got nowhere to go. And I ain't been really shopping like that. But I like to say I'm a very snazzy dresser. But moving along, I think I think that it was a, it was a beautiful thing. I believe that the world was just in a sense behind it. There was no violence. There wasn't any of the things that some people thought would happen. I mean, obviously there were some protests. I did see some protests. Uh, I believe down in Pflugerville, Pflugerville, with you know like a PFL, Pflugerville, Texas. I did see that there was a couple of protesters in front of their state capitals. Like it was like two or three. I just gotta say, I just believe that some of the people that were you know that were insurrectionists on January sixth. They not quite, they, 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 I think they kind of went back into hiding. You know, it's just like how y'all used to see all them trucks and stuff that say Trump 2020 and all that. Um, you didn't see that. You didn't see that um, because, you know, you just kind of got to fall back and go back into regular racism. I'm like, I guess that's cool. We're going back into regular racism in order to confront that. So maybe things can change. But sometimes, you know, when you lost and, 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 but we still need to be vigilant of that kind of racism. But, 
Another big story out of the inauguration is that Joe Biden, and if he's, if I'm Joe Biden, shout out to people named Joe, because it's just something about him. But if I'm Joe Biden, I'm getting right to work with fixing stuff. I, I, I'm i sorry. I, the last four years have been crazy for everyone. Now, there's a certain group of people, and I can't say if it's just, you know, the rich or, you know, but it's a certain ideology that, you know, this might affect them, but the people outside of that special group of people were affected negatively in the last four years. So Joe Biden went straight to work. He went straight to the Oval Office after they got done doing all this. Because if I'm me, I'm like, man, I appreciate the special glass y'all got for us. I appreciate the parade. Um, I'm going to be real. The music was kind of whack. You know, hey, hey, I'm sorry. I'm just not trying to dan da 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 Wait, wait, that might be the British uk song i'm not sure but they played a whole bunch of trumpets and all that stuff that was cool uh shout out to <laughs> shout out to j-lo who's singing at the inauguration and then the, i think that was the funniest part i mean which is it was okay that she did it but i think it was so funny that she threw in let's get loud i thought that was funny i was like i know she didn't like i'm just i'm hearing it in the background and i'm like i know she did not pull that let's get loud card but i do think it was very bold and I think it says a lot. She threw in she threw in some Spanish verses in there. Shout out to that. She sang, uh, look, I want to say lift every voice and sing. Look, I, I'm ready for watch night service. Uh, what it was, uh, 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 this this land is your land. This, this land is our land. This land is for you and me. So she sang that, man. That was cool. I appreciate it. Lady Gaga, she did her thing. And, and then the night show, that was cool, you know. But I believe Joe Biden was ready to get right up there in the Oval Office and make it happen. And that's what he did. President Biden decided to sign 15 executive orders. 15 executive orders. Now, if you know, if you don't know what executive orders are, 100%, go look it up. Don't take my word for it. But basically, the president was saying, hey, there was some stuff that happened. I'm going to go ahead and reverse that. And here's some of the things that he did. So first and foremost, he's so he did in a sense like, oh, he started off for the millennials. He started off for us, you know, the youth. He started off with us. And he, he decided to do an executive order for, for a challenge. So this is just a Twitter. This is like, a, in a sense, a Twitter challenge, something like that. 100-day mask cha challenge where he's challenging each and every American. Mask up for 100 days. Just, you know, just see what happens. You know, shits and giggles. I'm down with that. I really like it. I like it because he's not mandating it. But he did mandate it on a couple of things. If you're on federal grounds, you got to wear that mask. Uh, if you're in certain transportation, you got to wear a mask. So he started off attacking COVID first because that is the that is the most important thing that's going on right now. We'll get to the money. We'll get to the money. But right now, let's save your life. I like that approach. That's a good approach to have. Why would you not? But right now, he's he, he's thinking about saving lives because we have lost 400,000 people due to COVID. Now, some of us have been lucky and have not contracted it. Some of us have contracted and we just don't know uh, um, uh, and, and just survived it. You know what I'm saying? We just didn't have any type of symptoms or anything. That's a part of it. But 400,000 people did not get that luxury that those of you that are watching now, whether you got it right now, you're trying to push through. And I'm telling you right now, push through. And there's some people that were asymptomatic. You were able to get through it. But we ain't done with this thing yet. He also had an initiative to try and get out 100 million, 100 million uh, uh, vaccines out to everybody. Uh, it, it's a lot. And, and black folk, we're going to talk about the vaccine thing here in a little bit because I know we got treated bad, but in the past and been experiments and all that stuff. That I, I will say this, technology was different back then. And the other part of it is, this is a different climate that we're in right now. If they come up with a drug that's killing black people and, and all this and making folk turn into zombies and all that, and black folks is the, nah, I don't believe, I think we're in a different time. And I think that we need to give this a chance. I'm not, do what you want to do. I'm not the end all be all of, of anything. Trust that. But I will say, let's give him a chance. What do we have to lose? We didn't know what COVID was. We didn't know what any of that was. It just popped up. Uh, some folk talking about, uh, just shoot up some bleach. It, it, what? Shoot up bleach. Do ble you know what? Use that stuff for malaria. M malaria, that was a d disease that popped up back in like the 30s and 40s during Teddy Roosevelt's time in office. And, and, and things are different now. It, listen, I'm, I'm just here to say, just give it a chance. And if you don't believe in that, that's fine. That's fine. Tell me why shit in the comments if you're watching on YouTube. Spotify, y'all just got to listen to me. Apple Apple, Apple Podcast, just listen to me. Google Podcast, love you. Appreciate y'all. Um, 
Also, some, some key things that we got pulled out of as a country, we got pulled out of the World Health Organization. Imagine that. They thought it would be a good idea to take us out of a situation where you have all of the resources of the rest of the world and decided to isolate us from that. And Biden was like, hey, man, we probably need to be kicking it with these cats over there. I, I know. I know we wasn't really rocking like that. But uh, can we get back in, please? I, we, we just need to get back in. I'm here for that. Like, like let's let's get to the lives first. Then um, also some other stuff that happened. Um, also, they want uh, Dr. Fauci to, to, to be our spokesperson because that's what he's he's been doing that since March, since we started figuring this out. I believe one of the first headlines I saw was, uh, uh, on the death of Kobe Bryant, January 26, 27. Uh, they, they, were, they, were, they, they were talking about it in the um, Los Angeles Times where they were talking about the COVID, but we really didn't know much about the COVID. I went on about my business this past February. Um, you know, my birthday coming up. We just did that on my birthday. We had a good time. We had, we had a great time last, my last birthday, but uh, it, it, we were right. I was right there in a position where I could have contracted it, but we, we didn't know about it. But obviously it came in in March and Dr. Fauci has been on top of it and he's trying his best to tell us what to do. And to try and help us because that's what experts do. P -p like when people say that they're experts, okay, you do need to do your due diligence. I get that. You should listen to people that I I, I, I get it. You should, but, but what am I trying to say here? What I'm trying to say is see if they are a credible person, and if they seem to be a credible person, um, or if they've shown themselves to be a credible person, you should probably listen. I'm just throwing that out there. Do what you want to do, but I'm happy that Dr. Fauci is going to be. Uh, our spokesperson is going to be right there in the headlines. He's going to hear hear what's going on in Europe. He's going to he, he's going to you know he's going to hear about what they're saying in in, in China. They're, he's going to hear what the rest of the world is doing to try and like hey why don't y'all try this because these are the numbers. The numbers are this and we haven't contracted it in that way. So check out our numbers and then you know maybe you can take some of these tactics and move them on to your own people. That's what the World Health Organization does is to keep everybody healthy. That's why it's the World Health Organization. Why would you pull out of that? Out of, out of, but we're back. We're back. Also, the Paris Accord uh, got us back into that, you know, about emissions and trying to save the life of the planet. Because if there's no planet, there's no us. I'm very happy about that. Um, he ended. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All the people in my age range, I just want y'all to know. Um, in the age range between 18 and about 40, something like that. Yeah, that's a good, that's a that's a good age range, uh, as we seem to have experienced the same things in a sense. Um Student debt, pausing it. Let me change the age range. So like 22 to about 40. Student debt, the um, uh, Department of Education, they're freezing, they're freezing uh, 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 student loans for a second. And uh, what is it? Z at zero interest. So you you still owe, but it's going to be zero interest. They ain't going to be able to collect up off of you because you haven't been paying it. But they're, they're just a moratorium on that. Um, also, folk that's about to get kicked out their crib, they extended that moratorium from evictions. Now, just remember, they can still kick your ass out after the extension. You gotta do your best to try and pay, but nobody's getting kicked out their homes quite yet. But that was that was a good thing for the American people. That, Like I said, there's a lot of people. I know that the food industry, which is a, a huge part of or the service industry, rather, that's a huge part of our um, uh, uh, our economy as well. Everybody want to go out to eat every now and then. Now, you know me, I like to go step out with a little uh, lady, give me a martini or two, and, and just chop it up. But, but you know, that those people that serve us, they're a huge part of the economy. It just is what it is. And so they work constantly. They work a lot of hours, and they go out and spend their money and do what they do. Very important part of our economy. It is what it is. Uh... Also, the Muslim ban. The Muslim ban got it, it got uh, uh, it got lifted. Come on, man. You called it the Muslim ban. Okay, that is that is the most targeted label I've ever heard in my life. Like, how are you just gonna come up here and be like, uh, uh, "This is the Black People Accord," and so Black people specifically can't do this. You know, I'm just using my people as an example. Black people can't do this. You did that to Muslim people, and that's not okay. Like the Muslim, Muslim as 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 a religion. I mean, that was, it was just attacked, and then Muslim actually has like a, 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 a umbrella. It's not just like specific to black people. It's a lot of races that 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 practice being Muslim. So 
that was good. I mean, that takes that mark up. Because that's how my man started the whole, his whole presidency. Like, hey, listen, executive order. Hey, if you come from these countries, don't come to these countries. You can't come to these countries. You're not flying. I get it. We had 9-11. I get it. And it was some people that was really, they really was not rocking with the United States like that. But also we need to take into account, like it had to be a fringe group of people because Y'all can't come to war with us like that. They just didn't act. You know what I'm saying? It was a group of extremists that didn't act. And it did. It, I, I, I'm not trying to belittle it. I'm belittling the people that didn't pull it off. But, and I'm, 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 I'm not saying a specific group of people like a, a race or, or a religion. I'm just talking about a group of people that might practice an ideology or something to that effect. But they take it to a different level. And then they do something that honestly is wrong on all accounts. So... It is, it's, and I'm like, again, I'm not talking about Muslim people. That's not what I'm doing. I'm talking about a group of people that took it to the next level that it didn't need to go to. So I get it, the, the behind that, but that's something that maybe George Bush would have implanted. But you coming through at two in 2017 doing stuff like that, that's not helpful. So I'm here to say, I think that we are ready for a better day, a new day. And I think things will be better for everybody. I, and, and, and let me let me say this. I'm going to say this. White folk. And I'm not talking about all white people. I'm talking about white folk. Now, white black people only use the term white folk when it, when it comes to white people that really don't, that, that, that think that they're superior to everybody else. And, and that don't matter if you in a trailer park or you a billionaire. There's a box for y'all. It's called white folk. These people, they believe that they're elitist. They believe that they're better than anybody just because of the, the color of their skin. And this is our country. This is our country. Although the Constitution is about us. There's a box for y'all. And it's called white folk. And I've seen many Many an ancestor of mine, if you will, you know, we, we, we call ancestors like they, they, some of the older people in my family that I'm related to, they come home from work and be like, man, you know how them white folk is. That's what they're talking about. They're talking about the people that just, that, that you just stomp on everything else because you think you're that much better than everyone else. When you should be standing there and being equal to everyone else. And, 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 and I get it. If you got more money and you pay for a good seat at a game, you deserve that better seat because you paid for it. But that doesn't make that person that's in the nosebleeds and best believe my nose done bled a couple of times, man. You know, man, them tickets high up there, man. You ever sat at the top of uh, 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 the, 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 the field house up down there in Indianapolis? It gets real high up there. Trust and believe. I, I got a new phobia now. I'm scared to go down hills when I'm driving every now and then because them, because them, because them seats are so high. But that doesn't make you better as far as the quality of life that you deserve. That doesn't make you better. You just gotta you just pay for a better seat. But that doesn't mean that the person behind you or has a, or has a seat that's a little bit higher than yours any better. And that's the definition of white folk. Not white people, not Caucasian, white folk. So hopefully we can get rid of that term. And we just start talking and using the term people to describe people because that's what people are people ah, what's up boy i sound good today i'm sorry i just got from inauguration i thought i was the president Woo! okay i'm gonna move on let me move on let me move on now next step in a parade so let me tell y'all about jumping out the window so i get on twitter today Checking out what's trending and Tory Lanez is trending. I'm like, oh man, what are you trending for? Well, lo and behold, it looks like somebody put out an article stating that Tory Lanez, all the charges got dropped. Now, if you don't know anything about Tory Lanez, uh, Tory Lanez is 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 accused of shooting Megan Meg the Meg the Stallion. You may know Meg the Stallion from WAP, you, and you might know her from a couple of different videos, macaroni in a pot. At any rate, at any rate, keep it together. I'm sorry. 
I was thinking of that whole video. I ran it through my head like a hundred times. At any rate, so he was, uh, uh, this was something where Meg, in a sense, did not press charges, but the state picked it up. So a, a, doc, a court document came out where they were supposed to actually have their, the, the, a court date yesterday, January 20th, 2021, for those that might listen later, January 20th, 2021. They were supposed to have a court date in regards to this, but um, it looked like there was a typo from a clerical standpoint. There was a clerical error. And in this error, it said, and it looked like the, 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 the charges got dropped. Woo! Y'all can't do that. In the age of the internet. Because we got to see a glimpse. We got an example. <coughs> Excuse me. We got an example of what it would be like if all the charges for Tory Lanez got dropped, we saw both sides of it. We saw people where they was like, yeah, I told y'all Tory ain't do this. And then you had another side of people attacking Meg. Like, yeah, she lying. She just tried to, because there was a lot of controversy in it because your people are like, hey, why are you riding with this dude? He abusing you. You riding with him and blah, say blah. And, and, and there's so many sides. Nobody was there but Tory, uh, a friend of Meg and Meg. Nobody knows what happened, but everybody everybody speculates, right? Everybody's speculating on what actually happened. Well, all those people jumped on there and they put their thoughts out there. Meg goes, Tory Lanez, an apology. Uh, 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 Meg was wrong for that. That's another, that's a black man. You're going to do him like that as a black woman. Uh, all these things came out. And then... Uh, the drum, uh, a bomb got hit because you know I wasn't about to. I'm, hey, hold on, let me look through all the sources. Now, I'm looking. It's a blog, so I'm talking about it and all that. But I said, let me keep, let, let me chill, let me chill before I say my two two cents on it. And it turns out that no, the charges didn't get dropped. They moved the court date because it was on the same day as the inauguration. And everybody, all the government facilities was kind of taking extra precautions because it was of what happened January 6th. So it was a lot of people that jumped right out the window and couldn't wait to bash Meg. And then there's a lot of people that turned their back on Meg because of that. So for one hour, Tory Lanez looked like he was like he was innocent. And or that. It looked like Meg was weak or something like that because she didn't continue to pursue charges. Well, first and foremost, we need to know that you need to know that the state picked up the charges, so it's out of Meg's hands. Meg can do whatever. Meg Meg could have been like, no, nah, no, nah, don't press no charges, don't press no charges. And the state would be like, nah, we pressing charges. There ain't nothing you can do about it. We're moving on with this. So it might not say Tory Lanez versus Meg Thee Stallion, but it's definitely gonna say the state versus versus Tory Lanez. It's definitely gonna say that. Tory v State is gonna say that. There's a change in the date. So all I'm saying, we, we're going to keep on, keep our eye on that situation. I mean, prayers to both of them. And you, you, I get it, man. People get into it. And, and you know, I understand things get, you know, tensions run high and all that. But let's not be so quick to judge people as far as that. Because we just saw what happened when something was thrown out there that wasn't necessarily true. And how quickly people chose sides. Um, so it will be handled in the court of law and not the court of public opinion. So keep your eye on that. Um, I will 100% make sure that I keep y'all posted. Uh, but let's get on to it, man. It's championship Sunday. It's some money on the line. We got to put that bread. Out. We do it every week. We do it every week. And I'm going to start with who got me the bag last week. As I told y'all to do, I said, Okay, so as of Thursday show, last Thursday show, I did tell everybody to go with the Browns being able um, to cover. Wait, I, I apologize, not the Browns. Um, um, who did who did who who did who did they play? I can't remember who who Aaron Rodgers played, but at any rate, at any rate, uh, L.A. Rams. So. I said that that spread, I, th I felt like the L.A. Rams would keep it a little bit closer than they did. And then it came out on Sunday morning that Cooper Cup wasn't going to play. So I reposted that video. 
and said Cooper Cup is not playing. So y'all know where to go with the Demon Time emoji. So just letting y'all know, I did switch the pickup. So we got we we got the bag off of Aaron Rodgers last week. He, he got us a bag. Other than that, man, it was a tough it was a tough week to to bet. Um, Buccaneers seemed like a sound bet, but I I I had to stay away from it. I just I couldn't do it. Um, so this week. We got the Packers versus the Bucks. The Packers are three and a half point favorite. This is a game where I really have to decide, had to have to really discern between my heart and my head, and it's for this reason. I I lost Kobe in twenty twenty. I didn't realize how much. It means for you to lose a great, especially on the court. Like when he retired, like he was kind of on his way out. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't quite like LeBron's doing where he's still able to chase the championships. Kobe was kind of at the end of it. You know that I, I think that Achilles really, really did it. But it took a little bit away from it. But he did give us that 60 point game to let us know that he is still great. And that was a reminder. But I, there's some part of me that... I want to see greatness still. And that greatness is from Tom Brady. And Tom Brady is great like that. But at the same time, there's another quarterback I like, and that's Aaron Rodgers. I think he is, I think he's, when it comes to straight up throwing the football, I think he's the best ever. Accuracy, all that, I think he's the best ever of all time. I believe it's him. As far as accolades and all that stuff, it's Tom Brady, 100%. So, a part of me wants to continue because I don't want Tom Brady, because I think that's what's about to happen to Drew Brees, is that he took this last L. That's the last time we're going to see Drew Brees throw in a professional football game. I think that's I think it's a wrap. I think he's done because he can't push the ball down. Like, his body's saying, no, it's over. But Tom Brady, obviously, he still got it. I, I believe I haven't seen the last of Tom Brady if he loses this game. So, also, my heart is with Aaron Rodgers because he still has more to prove, as in, like, I, I need to see him do more. And so, with that being said, Aaron Rodgers got this far. I believe that not only does do the Packers win, they they do beat the spread, so they win by maybe a touchdown. They might even get off on on, on Tom Brady. We'll we'll see. I think that they can beat that three and a half. Um, so I say take take the Packers, take the Packers for the for the for the for the bread. Take the Packers for the bread. It's too close. Three and a half is too close. So basically, that's saying pick them. Um, but also, you got to run the risk of it could be a field goal. So if Tom Brady loses, but he loses by three points, you you get the bag. So that's on y'all. I'm gonna say I'm, I'm putting my money on Aaron Rodgers because he got us the bag last week. Um, the next game you got the Chiefs versus the Bills. Now that's a three point game, not three and a half. That's a three point game. I'm not. It's 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 destiny. It's destiny. I'm sorry. Not only will the Chiefs win, the Chiefs are going to cover. They might beat them by ten. They might beat them by seven. I believe after what I saw last week. With the Bills. I mean, they caught a couple of breaks against Lamar Jackson. That wasn't, they didn't score a lot of points. But what does is, what is Kansas City do? They'll do that. So I say put, really put the bag. If you're going, if you got a bag to choose between Aaron Rodgers and uh, 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 that boy down there, uh, Patrick Mahomes, if you got to choose, put your bag on Patrick Mahomes. I, if, if he's playing, if it's Chad Henney, it could be a three-point game. It, that just is what it is. I believe Andy Andy Reid can keep it close with any quarterback that he has. But if Patrick Mahomes is good to go come Sunday, yeah, put the bag put the bag on the Chiefs. And then I believe that we will be seeing Patrick Mahomes versus Aaron Rodgers, who had very similar skill sets. And we'll talk about the Super Bowl after this week. We'll figure it out from there. Um that's what I got for you in sports. <clears throat> I 
in our ladies. If you've been struggling the past four years, past four weeks, hell, past four hours, and you ready for a new day. Look no further than me. Go to ChristianMingle.com. I'm Bar Swallow you. That's right. Go to ChristianMingle.com. It's going down. You know the drill. I'm on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. I'll be on YouTube come the morning. You're watching this? Thanks for tuning in. I love y'all. Be safe this weekend. It's a new day. I holla.